The way a story is conveyed is just as important as the story itself. Bram Stoker's critically acclaimed novel Dracula is written in the epistolary format, in which the unfolding events are narrated through a series of recorded documents. These can comprise, but are not limited to, journal entries, ship logs, newspaper clippings, letters and more, each representing a different perspective on the tale. You might think this is just some fancy way to attract the reader, which is partially true. I vividly remember seeing the novel at a bookstore, reading the first few pages then and there and getting instantly intrigued at the storytelling structure present. But more importantly, this format can make a fictionalized world feel real. In the context of Dracula, it makes the bloodthirsty vampire feel more like a myth. Someone seen by only a few unfortunate individuals, leaving the debate about his existence open to the rest of the world. It sets up a frightening premise that makes this novel published in the year 1897 a timeless, eternal classic and a must-read for those interested in new storytelling methods. This was entry number one, written and narrated by Rahil Blade.